All right, here's a video I didn't think I had made yet, but if I did, oh well. But anyway, this is going to be kind of a comparison of the two variations of the uh, late 90s, 37, 33. Um, this one came out earlier, obviously. Um, came out in like 98, and... Lasted till about 99, and then this came out around. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell because both blade sets were used around the same time, and it's confusing. Because I've seen some with that blade set from 1998, and same with that one. I think they were like transi transitioning over or something. But yeah. The one over here has the butter knife blades. Same Lasco logo in the middle. Same knob and switch that all the 90s Lascos had. Same Marco motor, as you can see. I believe I got this one from the fan mower man. My original one is long gone. I think it it was all beat up and then another one then I got one of these from my aunt and then that one was pretty beat up too so I got this one from the fan mower man that was in mint condition so I figured I'd hang on to this one so yeah this one um, I got this one from Nate um, has the pedal blades, but what's interesting about these earlier ones is they have a lot of blade pitch, which is hard to tell. Yeah, see right there. It actually goes all the way out to the middle of the hub. And, I mean, these are actually decent air movers for the time. Um, these were, these were pretty good too. I mean, it definitely moves more air than the modern Alaska as well. But this one, oddly enough, these moved a lot of air. Uh, just, I mean, a lot of people rip on these, but this earlier style of this blade was actually pretty good. Now, as time went on, they got worse, much like the Lakewoods. But, you know, these early ones, pretty darn good. Same Marco motor as the other one. As you can see there. Mm, these pedal bladed ones with the Marco motors move a lot of air. Now, the, when they went to the smaller motors, it wasn't quite as much. It just kind of... As time went on, the motors just got crappier and crappier. This was the highest point that they reached, in my opinion. Because after this one, they went to a smaller motor, but they still moved good air. Then after that, they had the recall, and they went to a different kind of motor. And and as that motor kind of evolved, it kind of decreased the air movement. And now we got the newer ones, which aren't horrible, but they're not as good as this will ever be. You know, a lot of people say all oh, these 90s Lascos aren't great fans, blah, blah, blah. I beg to differ quite a bit, but whatever. You can have your opinions. I don't give a flying fuck. But anyway, let's we'll start them off on low. Now, one thing that is a major difference here is this one's actually a bit quieter than this one. This one always has that constant whirring sound, which I mean, I like personally, but some people don't, so, you know. 
But they're both moving a pretty good amount of air. Wish I had something to kind of demonstrate that. We'll go up to medium. Feels pretty good right now. Not gonna lie. And finally high. Feels really good. Alright, OWF spells off. Which way is the better coast down? Let's find out. I'm thinking it's going to be the left one because that one's really well oiled. This one probably could use some more oil, but who knows. And it's still going. Just keep spinning, just keep spinning, ra 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 ra. Well, yeah, there you have it. A look at two different versions of the late 90s 3733 box fans. Both of which are very, very much childhood. Yeah, and I'm glad to have both of them. They're both in really good shape, and I plan to keep them that way. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.